Hey, what's up? This is Alex True. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep talking about uh, my strip club experience from back in the days. Oh, by the way, uh, my name is Alex True. I'm the guy who invented the uh, immortality rings, and these are the uh, immortality rings that you can put on during sleep. You put on your small fingers during sleep, and then they they basically stop aging. You 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 become physically immortal. You don't age anymore. This, this is not a joke. I I invented it. Uh, uh, more than 20 years ago. Uh, what I invented it when I was 19. I'm 47 now, you know. I've been wearing it ever since I was 19, and I, I, I got my first patent in, in uh, 1999. But anyway, uh, if you want to, if you're interested in my rings, go check out my website, which is livemuchlonger.com, okay? Livemuchlonger.com. All right, let's talk about the, my strip club experience. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was at the strip club uh, seven days a week back in the days, you know. I was really, really hooked on it. And then, uh, uh, ba and then one day, the uh, a stripper, I like, I, I offended a stripper, you know. I mean, she's actually my favorite stripper. I don't know what I said to offend, offend her. You know, you know these strippers. You know, they a lot of them have I issues. A lot of a lot of them have anger issues. You know, maybe it's because of I don't know bad uh, family environment maybe it's because uh, drugs or alcohol I have no idea I offended her I don't know why because of her I got kicked out of one strip club and then I uh, talk about I wrote about it on, on uh, myribbook.com they there used to be this website called my rib book it's it, it got raided by FD, FBI and it now it's shut down but anyway uh, then I got banned from all the strip club in Broadway you know uh, San Francisco. Then I started to just, I say fuck it. Then I started to just sit home, and I go to my ribbook.com to chat about strippers, strippers from time to time, you know. But basically, I just sat home, and I, you know what? Because of that, I graduated. You know, I, right now I actually thank, I actually thank the bouncers for kicking me, kicking me out of the club. You know, if if, if he didn't kick me out of the club, I probably would have never quit go, uh, strip club. I probably would have never quit strip club my, because my friend would keep calling me, you know, because I'm the guy who has the VIP pass. And it's sort of, sometimes it's more fun to, to go with more, more than, you know, it's not, sort of not fun to go by yourself because if the strippers, they, they give you the cold shoulder, then you have friends you could talk to, right? Also, since I have the VIP pass, I could walk in and out of the strip club and then we go to uh, Chinatown to eat midnight snack. I'm telling you, man, you know, these people are, these guys who are hooked on strip club, they are like zombies. They are hooked. I, I'm i not joking. They just, especially, you know, when you go to strip club day in and day out, you know, you're, you're basically looking at the same stripper over and over again. I mean, the, the same stripper would go up there and strip hundreds of times, and you, you're not even aroused anymore. When you look at their naked body, you're not even aroused anymore. It's like you don't even care anymore. You're just... You're just like a zombie. You're hooked. You know, there, there's this one guy, okay, that uh, we, you know, I, oh, he's not really my friend, but I know him, and then we, we used to, we hang out together before, you know, just once, you know, I, I, we, we, we ate hamburger together at Ho uh, Hooters with a whole bunch of, you know, whole, not just him and me, just four or five guys, you know, oh, they all were, we're all from the strip clubs, and uh, that guy is like, one day, uh. I was there at the strip club, right? And then the, the manager came to look for me. He said, hey, Alex. I said, yeah. He said, hey, you know, you know your friend, uh, the, that, that guy, he, he's outside. He need your help. And then I, I walk outside. It was raining outside. It was raining outside. And what happened is he slipped and fell. He's, he's like 42 or something. He slipped and fell, and he broke his leg. He broke his ankle. And uh, I'm like, okay, okay, no problem. So I went to get my car. He wanted me to drive him to his car. So me and my friend, we went to get our car, and then we drove him to his car. So he said, okay, thank you. I said, are you... So basically, he drove back home with his, you know, he, he has, he only broke one leg. He has one good leg, right? Guess what, man? That, the very next day, that guy is back. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, he, he had a cast on him. He has a cast on his leg. He was back the very ne very next night, man. He's just sitting there with his crutches, and in his cast. I was shocked, man. He didn't even take a break. 
I mean, he took a break from he 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 was uh, he worked for a school district. You know, he's one of the teachers. You know, he took a break from his school. You know, uh, I don't know how long. I don't know a day or two day or a week. I don't know. But guess what? He did not take a break from strip club. He was back the very next day, man. I was there. I saw it. I, I mean, I couldn't. That's how hooked, you know, the, these these people who are hooked on strip clubs are. You know, they are zombies. They're, they, you know, this is it's and, and guess what? It's it's actually not. After you go for a while, it, you know, after if you if you go there every night, it's actually not very fun. The reason is because people start to disrespect you. You know, the the hookers. You know, they look. I mean, not hookers. The strippers. They look at you. And they start to say, "Oh, it's that loser again. It's that that wimp. It's that that you know, cheap ass piece of shit again. You know, they don't really, they don't even respect you anymore. They just, you walk in and, and they they don't even look at you. You know, they they like, hmm, you know, just that that asshole again. That that loser again. You know, he he doesn't spend money on me. He doesn't spend money on anybody. It's true. You know, if you go there every day, you can. You you imagine you can't. I mean." Unless you're a billionaire or a multimillionaire or something, you know, then you could throw money away like water. But if you're, you know, normal person, you you go there every day. Wow, you can't you can't spend money, you know. I mean, so you you only spend money once in a while. I go there every day. I I tip. I I, I pay tip. I you know pay very very good tip. Two dollar, five dollar, depend depending on the girls, you know. But I can't, you know, I cannot do like lap dance every day, right? Obviously, you know. And there's this one guy when I was there. Damn, there's this Filipino guy, right? He's like, there's stripper dancing, right? And he he started to walk up there. He started to dance with him. He started to, and then he would rain like fifty dollar, fifty dollar, you know, one dollar bill, fifty dollars. And then you know, and and what happened is uh, he was boasting. He was boasting to his friends. Oh, I do this because so people, all the stripper would respect me. You know, all the bouncers. And then he also tipped the bouncers. He tipped the bouncers. He tipped the DJs. You know, so it's like all the bouncers and DJs. They're all like, oh, befriend him, right? And then all the strippers are like, uh, all the strippers are like saying, oh, no, no, no. He likes me. He likes me more than you. No, no, no. You're wrong. He he likes me. He doesn't like you because the guy. The what 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 happened is the guy does it randomly. You know, it's like it's sort of like you won the lottery. You know. Like if you're dancing there, if if you're the girl dancing there at the right place at the right time, and that Filipino guy would be there, and then he would when when he does this, then then you know what's gonna happen. You know he's gonna rain fifty dollar bill on you, and he does that all the time. I I see it all the time. He doesn't do it every day, but I I I would say he does it like what once every three days, or what or once every two days. I'm not sure he, but I see it all the time. He he does that, and then yeah he. He and then he gained popularity. Yeah, all the girls like him. No, nobody dares to talk shit about him. Right? Everybody respect him. And then when he enters other club, like there's a showgirl, there's a showgirl right next door. When he enters that club, they all pull the, they all pull the. Well, they have this cord, right? They have, you know a cord. Uh, when they see him, they they would pull off the the uh, cord so he could enter the VIP uh, section. You know to sit down and order. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm richer than him because you know I. I, I was a hot shot businessman that time, but I'm, I'm cheap, you know, I don't, you know, I look at him, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I pity that guy, you know, I mean, you got 50, you have $50 and you just throw it, you toss it like that, you know, it's like, you, you know what you can buy with $50? You can, you can buy, you, you can buy you and your, your friends, like four or five friends, at a Chinese restaurant, a very, very good dinner, you know, very good dinner, you know, with fifty dollars, you know, or or you eat at a at a joint like a burger joint. Wow, you could treat you could treat like seven, eight people, you know, but you just throw away like that because you want the girls to respect you. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, no, I don't think the girls would respect you. I think they're, I think they think that you're stupid, you know, and, and I, I, it's like. Oh man, it was. I, I see all sorts of weird shit, man. It's like guys trying to gain respect. They probably never gain respect at home. They probably, you know, they're not gain respect for from women, so they have to go to the strip club to gain respect. But then these strippers, they don't really respect you, you know. It's, they just want money. Oh, I actually dated a few strippers, you know. I actually took them out. It's because you know I have to show off. I have to tell them, hey, I drive a Rolls Royce. I did. I, I was driving a Rolls Royce. 
I I, uh, I had a you know I still have a very nice house and stuff like that. I, it's like you you can't you, you want to take them out you can, but listen you know they're they're, all, they're gold diggers you know they, you got to be rich you know or else you you got nothing to show for it and you know they're not gonna you know they're they're very smart too because you can imagine how many people how many guys enter the strip club pretending to be somebody you know so um my time is up I'll talk about strip club a little more in in my next episode I guess anyways uh, subscribe to my channel you know like my channel whatever leave a comment thank you